Hi, today I want to talk about a book from Dark Horse. It's one of their library editions, so it's a it's a whopper. It is the Blackwood Library Edition. This is a book that I came across when I was just browsing, to be honest. And I know I like the library edition because they have good quality um, build and paper, and they really pop. More about that though when I'm doing the flip through. Um, uh, and I thought, oh, Blackwood, this sounds fun. You know, a story about a group of children sent to a school for the occult um, and the adventures they get up to. This is more adult than Harry Potter but it is not so adult that it is you know dark and something you couldn't read as a younger reader but I just found it well written and enjoyable with really fabulous art uh, particularly in the library edition. We'll do the flip through and just have a look at the plot and then afterwards we'll do the um, pricing and availability so you can skip on to that if you're had enough of looking at the book um, but it's worth staying to see if you can get a deal on it. So then we have got Blackwood Library Edition. This is written by Evan Dorkin with art by Veronica and Andy Fish. Uh, you get a nice cover with a dust jacket on the library edition. Um, it's got a nice sewn binding and it feels quality from the off. The actual hardcover is just a repeat of the dust jacket, but you get some pretty funky um, green liner pages in there as well. A summary of the two trades that it collects, and then you're straight into the story. And the story is about this school, Blackwood, where teenagers go and they get trained in the fighting of the paranormals arts um, there is an involvement from a government agency um, the students don't know that they're necessarily going there to learn these skills but you know they they act like real teenagers when they find out meaning they're not necessarily <laughs> thrilled about it now the story has got dark elements to it there's creatures as you can see there there are conspiracies there are twists and turns which i'm trying to avoid talking about so it limits what i can say about the story but not everyone makes it out of this story alive they have some early deaths they have some events that could upset um, younger readers uh, but this isn't certainly a babyish book whatsoever it is a fun read for adults as well there are references in it too that you can spot to various other horror and mystery um, franchises but it's certainly worth um, getting I mean the quality of the paper it's so thick I mean and it really makes the art pop it is crazy how much the blacks and the colors just leap off the page at you uh, I said this with the lady killer library edition uh, it really just um, it really just takes things to another level and it shows up all the other deluxe editions and omnibuses out there. I think the only other omnibus that has got a similar quality of paper and print is the X-Men Grand Design omnibus, uh, but, but that's a one-off I think. But what we'll do is we will jump to a quick look at the book in comparison to a normal omnibus. As you can see it it's about an inch taller, give or take, so you will need to take that into account if you put it on your bookshelf, which is something I found out the hard way when I started getting the Dark Horse Library editions. Uh, <laughs> it will fit within sort of your standard uh, Kallax IKEA unit, but if you've got any other type of bookshelf, it may be worth uh, checking it out because the bookshelves behind me, whenever I'm filming, will not take a library edition. Okay, so that was the book. I say, really great art, really pops, and it's got such good quality thick paper on it. it these library editions, for the, for the price you get them for, really do feel like, um, you know, good buys. Particularly if you are a collector and you want something nice to put on your shelf. If you're not, fine, buy it digitally or buy it in another format. That's fine, but I like having the, the snazzy library ones for these Dark Horse ones. I do wish they'd put a bit more in the volumes, but, you know, that's just me being um, greedy, I suppose. Anyway, uh, price-wise, you can get it for around the £21-£22 mark. Um, check the prices, they do fluctuate, uh, but it seems to be around the £21-£22 mark um, if you're getting a good price for it. Obviously, publishers return marks, you can get it for less. If you can find one, I couldn't, so I paid the um, £21 for it. 
I think it's totally worth that price as well for the quality of what you get. Um, some deluxe formats from, say, DC, yeah, not really. <laughs> not compared to the value you get in a DC omnibus, uh, anyway. Because DC have very good value omnibuses. Um, anyway, that's the pricing. It's available everywhere at the moment. Um, please give us a thumbs up if this was a book you uh, weren't sure of or hadn't known about, and now this has helped make your decision on whether you want to buy it or not buy it. Uh, it does really help the channel and I'm looking to try and get a regular omnibus or deluxe edition video out at least once a week now going forward in addition to talking about other shit I might watch on telly <laughs> or, or, or films. Um, thanks for watching.